Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here, and today we are back with some more Ogens Showdown Live. We're gonna be playing some DPP OU or Gen 4 OU. Uh, for those that don't know, this is my favorite generation of OU. I mean, I love this generation in general. I think it was fantastic, especially it has so many nostalgic memories, both on YouTube and uh, just IRL and things like that. So we're using my favorite Pokemon, Suicune, on both of the two teams we'll be using. I'll leave them uh, on my website, PokeMedia.com. Um, and I got them from the Ruins of All forums on Smogon. Now, actually I was like, like two of my top three favorite Pokemon and Suicune and Latias on both of them. But we're going to be using this one first. It's a little bit more offensive. Then we'll be swapping over to the other. I'm a huge fan of DVP. And of course, if you guys are, if you have the, you know, the, 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 I don't know, man. If the nostalgia is there, you know, leave a like, subscribe, of course. I'm on my way to 300,000 subscribers. We're actually really close to 251,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. And hopefully we can find some games. I believe there was like seven games going on before. Yep. And that's not to mention like any hidden ones uh, as well. So hopefully we can actually find some. I guess I'll go over the team. Uh, so the first one is by Jimmy Turtwig. Or Turtwig, excuse me. Which is actually my starter in DVP. I, mean, I played through it a million times, but I, I loved Turtwig a lot. Um, it was like one of the few times, I think one of the two times I didn't pick the fire starter. But Magnus Zapdos hits incredibly hard. Uh, we have... Pasho Berry Heatran as a star meat check and can boom on like Sweet Queen and stuff. Extra Belt Latias, big fan of this set too. Dragon Meteor Surf, Grass Knot, and Hidden Power Fire. And this, is, of course, is back when Hidden Powers, you couldn't have perfect IVs. Uh, we also have Combine Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Rest. Sweet Queen as an offensive or, well, as a bulky offensive Dragonite check and a few other checks. Agility Metagross with Explosion and Choice Scarf Flygon. Uh, with some defense. I'm assuming this defense is like for plus two extreme speed from uh, maybe like a plus two extreme speed from like a Lucario after a certain amount of rock switchings. Maybe also like a plus one waterfall after a certain amount of rock switchings. Could be for Scizor as well. And then the other team that we'll be using today, uh, which is a little bit uh, bulkier, which I'll go into in a sec actually. So, so we have a, a Machamp versus Zapdos lead. Uh, not the worst lead, it's just that Machamp, you know, it's all dynamic punch luck, right? It has that chance to just mess up my entire team. I'm uh, definitely going to Thunderbolt first because this is doing well over half. Yep, well over half. 51. What'd I say? Luckily, my opponent did not end up going for the um, dynamic punch there. That did so much damage to me. What the hell? I, I'm, it's been a minute. Like, I have some HP on this guy, too. There's no. That has to be Choice Band. Like, that has to be Choice Band. Wow. Where am I? Right, 91%. I mean, I know it's Stone Edge and it's DPP and Stone Edge. The calc does not work in this generation when I click it. Like, I know where we're at, but that's insane. Sorry, I'm doing this just to familiarize myself because I do not remember that type of damage on Zapdos, especially one that has HP invested. But I could just be wrong, and it is, like, Machamp is strong, man. It is very strong. What the heck am I looking at? Oh. I'm like, why, did, why is Ice Punch not killing <laughs> or doing a lot? Huh, it actually might not be banded. Okay, they just, I, I've never seen someone get that roll versus me. Um, I'm really worried to go out into Heat Rant, so I'm actually going to go Metagross here. It's good because I'm Lumberry, so if they do try and Dynamic Punch there, I don't lose much. I can't miss my uh, Meteor Mash, I'm going to go for that because I'm not uh, quite sure. That's max HP, so I'm not quite sure that Earthquake KOs. Yeah, that's a roll, and that's not even max HP. This, for sure, is max HP Machamp, um, just based on that damage it took. So I'm just going to Meteor Mash here. Uh, I, they could go Rotom, they could go Starmie. I mean, Starmie just is a boom for Metagross, if, if I feel to do that. Um, if they go Heatran, I have a Lottie. Map Crimson Cobra. Dude, I have not heard that name in so long. Oh, now I want to predict and click Earthquake here. Because that, that is an OG as well. That is a hella OG name that I have not heard. Nah, I'll just click Meteor Mash. I think I'll be okay versus Z-Rank because I have a, a lot of extra bell and whatnot. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I, I might be playing a really... Like, that might not even be... Um, yeah, like, Earthquake was free, but I'm glad uh, I didn't end up clicking it. We'll go Zapdos now because if they get up rocks, I at least get damage off of them and I can go Latios after. Uh, if they go for Fire Blast, I can get in Latios. Like, I, I mean, at least get I get something out of my Latios. And it's looking like Suicune is very good here as they do end up going for rocks. So, I'm uh, just going to Thunderbolt. I'm assuming it's Machamp, Heatran, Flygon type of thing. Uh, I would love to Roost, but Fire Blast is going to Oko me anyway. 
So there's no point. I mean, I, I'm going to Thunderbolt just in case they pass you as well. Though I'm, I'm assuming they're Shooka as they go for the uh, Hidden Power. And I mean, I'm definitely going to get uh, Pursuit Trapped if I go Latias now. I don't want to reveal Suicune yet though because I think Suicune can be very scary. Uh, very, very scary late game. So I mean, if I weaken this, I mean, this is already in range. This is already in range of Machamp. Uh, we're just going to click Surf. It should knock out even through Paschal Berry. They're not in Custat Berry range yet. I doubt their Machamp is Custat Berry if they're max HP. That could be wrong. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a hella old school type of team. Mop Man. If this is Matt Crimson Cobra, that might actually be. Uh... Wow, why can I not remember? <laughs> Shaman. Holy crap, man. It has been a minute. I'm seeing some great Pokemon. We're just going to go for the extra belt HP fire here. Um, do a little bit, of, uh, a good chunk to Shaman as well. I, I thought it was going to be a Celebi, but it's cool to see a Shaman. So uh, this is usually like Life Orb type of thing. They could try and pivot now if they really wanted to. I don't think they will, though. I think they might Earth Power, considering I do have a, uh, a Metagross. So I'm just going to HP fire. Uh, if they pivot into Tyranitar, fantastic play. I know a Flygon is going to be out there somewhere, for sure. But if I get rid of Shaman, that opens up Suicune so much. Because this is Suicune fodder, this is Suicune fodder, this is something that could beat Suicune. So they actually double to Scizor on a Draco, and I catch them with the Hidden Power Fire. That's amazing. Uh, so that's their second steal as well. I don't even know if they have a Jirachi now. They definitely have a Water type. Uh, but it could be Suicune of their own. But I have Explosion in the back for that too. I think they were just scouting for Draco, and that, I mean, Expert Bell, Hidden Power, Fire did so much. Uh, Tyranitar is also something that could be in the back too, with Bandit Crunch or Pursuit. I'll Grass Knot it if Tyranitar does go in, and then, I mean, my endgame becomes Flygon clicking Outrage. <laughs> no. <laughs> How old, is this Garavire? That has to be Gyarados in the back then, I'm just gonna Draco. As uh, unfortunately they freeze me. Kinda sucks. Is that Gyarados in the bat? How old school is my, my dude going? Holy crap. Sucks they freeze me there. We're going to see if I... Oh, I do thaw immediately, which is great. And I can actually save Latias as a sack up. Uh, as my champ comes out. It's going to Draco again as they bullet punch. Time to get in my Suicune and click the Hydro Pump. Don't got to bother predicting because every bit of damage on Shaman is going to help me out. I guess it could be random Scarf Shaman too. But without No Guard, I'm not going to miss anyway. And this is where Shaman comes out. Gyarados, actually. They see Leftovers. You don't think um, HP Electric? Then again, you're, you're, you're stuck in the past with this type of team. It is, I knew it was Gyarovire. That's surprising. Anyway, I Thunder Punch here. Sub does not run Ice Fang ever. And I do not care if they go out into their uh, Shaman now. I don't. Uh, at this point, my Heat Ran is the most spendable member. Always. Their own Heat Ran will be to a kill by Thunder Punch. I get a little bit of chip off with Shaman. If I get a Paralysis, I'll be good too. Like I said, all this damage is nice. They could be Random Scarf, I guess, too. I can see them Earth Powering. Like I said, Heat Ran's expendable, so I'm going to make that play. I mean, I could Thunder Punch once and then go Heat Ran, but I'm assuming they'd Earth Power. Because I know I would in that turn. Exactly. So, uh, I have a few things I could do here. Actually, no, I'm just going to U-Turn. Because if they go that, I just bring out Suicune and click Hydro Pump. And then they go Shaman, I go Metagross. I don't even have to go with Metagross. I sack this and I click Boom. I suppose if they're hidden power, it could be bad, huh? Well, if they go Shaman right now, because their last move, if this is an old school team that I'm thinking it is, their last move is most likely Rest. So it's Earth Power, Seed Flare, Hidden Power of sorts. They're not that weak to opposing Scizor. So it's probably Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, they most likely Seed Flare now. I just don't want them HP Icing directly into my, uh, directly into my Flygon as well. I did not expect to see this type of team, like not not in you know this year. <laughs> Shaman comes out, best end game possible. I can outrage sweep them, I think. So, but there is potential to lose. Let me just go. Let me go this. Let me go this, and I click outrage on Gyarados coming in. 
They might see, they should see Flare again. Okay, now I think I go Flagon. I click Outrage on Gyarados coming in. I get Suicune in, which can bop him. I could also Thunder Punch Raw into Gyarados, but that's a choke play. I really want to click it though. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Outrage is my best play now, I think. Because I do, yeah, I do it all. Oh, I do well. I do well. I do definitely do enough. I'm good. Like I said, this doesn't run Ice Fang. And he's plus two to threaten Suicune, and I calm mine up as they bounce in the air, and then I go for, uh, then I go for an attack from there. So we should be good with Flygon. Oh, I get a three turn as well, so it's a basic guarantee when I think. Because all I gotta do is switch as they go sweet, uh, as they go back on the Shaman. Go Suicune, click Ice Beam twice, and we got it. Nice three turn outrage, so I didn't have to deal with any garbage. I'm back. They knock me out there. Bring out the boy. Good game. Nice. So we got a nice little win right there. Uh, and I seen an old name at from the Cobra. I'm pretty sure I know who this guy is. Like I'm fairly confident, but their name is uh, escaping me right now. So I might be playing Matt Crimson Cobra next. And Shaman's actually a pretty big threat to this uh, next team. Let me actually look at the next team too. I'm not cool. So you have Jirachi lead, uh, Jirachi lead versus Azelf. Um, in terms of how I want to deal with this situation, I could Thunder immediately, but that opens up... Oh, I have Choice Scarf Flavia, so I'm not that worried. They could be Choice Bam Boom. I'm going to Thunder, just in case they're Taunt, as they miss a Fire Blast. Now, them missing Fire Blast means potentially two things. Um, they could be Life Orb, which means that def miss definitely mattered. Or they could be uh, just Focus Ash lead. I hate to bring out... I'm just gonna thunder again. Now that basically I have potential to um, to paralyze them, which is why I went for thunder initially. But we'll bring out Tyranitar now. I don't like this because it lets me it, it forces um, me to reveal something. I doubt their fire blast U turn, but I don't want Tyranitar going down just in case their mon in the back can deal with it. Like I really do want rocks up in this game, if possible. If, if they were life orb, which we'll we'll find out in a second. Um, then they could have actually knocked me out there, so that miss was big. Ooh, that did a lot. And they burned me, but I have a lone berry, so that's okay. They could have U-turn now, like I said. Uh, I would rather Tyranitar not be boomed on. I have double steal for Lottie as well as Scarf. Come on. Okay, I'll just go for Pursuit. Yep. So I keep Tyranitar as a sack. A, a, a team with Azelf might actually have like an Infernape on it. Yep. <laughs> to click U-turn now. So I'm going to make the Skarmory play on the Life Orb U-Turn. I love that Ape always goes for U-Turn when they could go for like Fire Blast or something like that. As Starmie comes out and um, you know it's a situation where I, I do not like this Mon as much. But I also, this is Life Orb. I always have Jirachi right here. I do have the Thunder as well, which would knock them out if they let me do it. I'm actually going to click Stealth Rock because I, if I was my opponent, I wouldn't have let me um, Thunder them basically. And then we'll go Lottie now to knock them out here with a Draco. So this does allow in uh, a Tyranitar, but um, from a position I'm in with uh, with Breloom, like if they're not Pursuit, if they're Dragon Dance on this type of build, they're definitely Pursuit. In fact, they might have to be Choice Band. Uh, that opens up Breloom a lot. They are Dragon Dance. Wow. And of course, I'm the one Breloom that is not Mach Punch, which I didn't even realize. Luckily, we get a Spore off because my opponent is smart and scouts for the uh, the right move, as they should be. And we'll just Seed Bomb to it, KO them. They do get a, a first turn wake, and they are random Sludge Bomb, <laughs> which is very unfortunate. But hopefully Lottie is enough. And they were Scarf. Which is my mistake for not noticing. So that was definitely my mistake. And their last is probably flag on too. I'm gonna thunder just in case they make the uh, the play of going infernate, which I don't think is the play because I have a 60% chance to to paralyze them, but it hasn't happened twice. Oof, this is gonna hurt. Just kidding. I'm a sweet coon. My God, it has been a long time. Uh, let's hope I pull a CM now. 
No, I gotta surf. Tyranitar comes out. I'm fine with just going out into my um, my Skarm and clicking Whirlwind as Gengar comes out and dies. I didn't realize Gengar was that close to dying. So uh, I can lose to Tyranitar plus Gyarados, or I can just win the game with Jirachi. I'm just going to click Whirlwind here multiple times. If possible, and try and win the game with Jirachi. So, I mean, in a perfect world, Jirachi just wins the game immediately by clicking Thunder and then Iron Heading. Uh, not a perfect world, though, so I've lost. <laughs> That's unfortunate. This is my favorite speaking set of all time. That wasn't the best play by me, for sure. Um, I didn't expect Scarf, and I didn't expect... I, I wasn't paying attention to the sand, but I didn't expect Scarf uh, Gengar. But also, I... I mean, if I landed Thunders, it's Thunder, though. Or I got any of the pairs, I was in a fantastic spot with Jirachi always, but I also dodged Fire Blast, so my Jirachi shouldn't have been that healthy anyway. Good game, dude. So, I want to play with this team again. Um, also, I, I do not like... I think this has to be... Well, I mean, I have physically defensive Skarm, so maybe it doesn't. I didn't realize I was this type of Breloom. I guess also if Gengar didn't get the first turn wake, I also smacked him too. But that was still... That was... Explosion plus Scarf Copycat Lucario. Oh, 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 that looks so fun. That looks so fun. Oh, we're gonna try that too. I can't wait for Sweeping to come back. I know everybody uses the... Uh, uh, scarf, copycat. I know everybody uses the uh, the the the, the Vincoon, which is uh, sub, calm mine, scald, and protect. And some people have done that in DVP where they run Dug Show to trap Tyranitar, and then they set up Rain Dance with like a Rotom, and then they try and do that with Sweet or something. But the best, the OG ones were offensive Sweet I like I like Calm Mind Rest. I like. Uh, but rest talk, sleep talk. Like rest, sleep talk, calm mind and surf. That was my favorite sequence ever. I've beaten so many people with that just back in the day. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll just pause it until we find a battle. I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back with another one. I got a Heat Ran lead versus my Jirachi. So I obviously do not want to stay in. Um, I have Suicune, but I don't want to reveal that so early, but maybe, maybe it's worth it considering I have Healing Wish anyway, and they could be Specs here, so I'm going to make the Suicune play. We'll see if they go right for Overheat. Oh, and that is 100% choice spec. so uh, Dragonite something that could easily come in now. Breloom, I want to make the Skarmory double Blissey. Okay, so this is what? Machamp, Blissey, probably Dragonite, um, Starmie, what was the other one? Jirachi? No, no. Machamp, Blissey, Dragonite, Heat Ran. Was it Tyranitar plus Starmie? I don't remember exactly. This is usually Thunder Wave too, so I'm gonna get a spikes. Zapdos. Okay. <laughs> I was like trying to remember what the like the last was on this type of thing. But I do have a, a, a Lumberry, a nice Lumberry Tyranitar, which I think is really strong here. And uh, we're going to go for the Fire Blast now, anticipating something like Braylon to want to come out. I like so there were two teams this could be. There were two teams this could be. When I saw Zapdos, I was like, okay, maybe it's another one. But mm, water moves are not the best. I'm gonna make the Latias play now. I'm gonna trick uh, whether I get Jirachi all. Oh. Unfortunately, it's Choice Scarf. I was going to say, whether I get Jirachi or, or anything else, that's okay for me. Now, if I go out to this, they get a kill. Um, Combine Blissey can still smack them. If they U-turn out and they bring out Heatran, it's a threat versus me. I get in... Bre Brelum's expendable, but at the same time, it, it, it can win like, if it gets in versus Blissey. So, I basically have to pick my poison here. I'll make the Starmie play and let him get in the uh, Heat Rain Overheat and I'll get in my Suicune and Rest. I was able to go Zapdos instead, which I'm okay with. Not necessarily, but because I mean, my team doesn't deal that well with Zapdos. Zapdos is broken in <laughs> DP anyway, though. Okay, so I'm assuming that you'd go out into your Jirachi now. Uh, I'm going to go out into my own as a Roost there, which is fine. Uh, we're going to attempt to paralyze him now. Instead, I swear this move does not paralyze. It's 60% Serene Grace, man. 
I'm hitting all these thunders, by the way. Like, this is GSC. There you go. Finally. One more. Four for four. All right, so we get rid of one of hopefully the biggest threat. Okay, what, bro? It's 60%. Let me try and beat you 1v1 now. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Go for another thunder as we miss, but hey. Okay, so I killed the Zap. They didn't have to stay in, by the way, at any of those points. But I killed the Zap, those. Here in comes out. Lottie can still technically trick something, but I'd rather sack it here to overheat or flamethrower. That's fine, too. I think I'll bring out Suicune and I click, uh, I think, Combine once. Yes, so I live that, and then I go for rest. And now if they want to bring out their... Oh, Starmie doesn't beat me 1v1. Unless their Starmie has trick too. It does have trick. Of course it does. Starmie is trick, psychic. I'd rapid spin if I were them. Or they surf, which is a smart play as well. Uh, I'm still going to go for pursuit anyway. My scarf. Oh, this got so hard. Eh, maybe. <laughs> Hit a thunder and, you know, win the whole game. Hey, good Pokemon, good Pokemon. Suicune is now choice specs. I can rest up once on Blissey coming in and... Uh, I'm assuming they might double into Heatran, so that's why I'm going to stay in. Because I can live every hit they go for. Like, I'll PP stall them if I have to. <laughs> what, are you going to trick me a Choice Scarf? <laughs> what are you going to do here? Oh, unfortunate. So... If I get this in versus Blissey, I smack him. Two Flamethrowers to 27, plus one turn of that. Jirachi is still a good Pokemon. They could still iron head flinch my entire team to death if they wanted to. Get in you and click rest. They should switch. And I'm still clicking rest here. Because the position I want... They stayed in to click flamethrower. Yeah, good game, dude. Good game. Oh my god, man. Specs heat run is such a threat. I mean, I got the Braylon Murley, but like this team, I, I, I wouldn't say tricked me with Starman. I can't believe they had trick spec Starman, man. That was the only set that would put them in a winning position. Because even Jirachi trick later, that didn't matter. Oh, fire punch. What is this? Like Fortress Needle Queen crap? I mean, if you have Fortress, I doubt you have Needle Queen. Good damage. Alright, we'll get up rocks. <laughs> no, it is Fortress Needle Queen crap. Okay. Braylon Melise initially, and then um I'll have Ice Beam, so I would rather spore Fortress after than be able to get up a sub, hopefully. And let me sub. I'll sub up here and see if I can get a boom off. Uh, I mean, max attack Braylon still does a lot. Like, a lot to Needle Queen. And I don't take too much from Ice Queen because Needle Queen is very weak. I can also technically spike stack on this thing, too. Ice Beam. Usually Earthquake and Protect. I don't care about their double layer of Toxic Spike. At all. They probably have a Skarmory as well. Uh, actually, if they have four, maybe not. But uh, we're gonna go. For, uh, we're gonna use Braylon to disrupt them. That's the plan. Oh, is this calm mine? Oh, whatever. I rather spike up as many times as possible. 
and then phase them if they try and go fourry, which is awesome because now they die to hazards with fourry, so that's really awesome. Like, that's for sure amazing. I thought this thing had heavy duty boots for a second. I was like, what the hell? Bro, you took no type of damage. <laughs> and that's Bantar. Awesome. Uh, there is the uh, the trade-off. They might Shadow Ball here. I do have my own Tyranitar. Um, Clef can beat everything as long as I trap this Mon. So I'm tempted to actually give them Latios. That way I can do that. But because I, I would, I don't want to go hard into Tyranitar. I'm gonna go Jirachi first. Then I'm going Clef. Now I can flinch Clefable. So it's not the biggest of deals. Uh, they obviously scouted for some sort of Tyranitar double there. Like I said, once I Pursuit Trap that Rotom, because it's Ghost-type, I should be good. Right, let's click these. Wish Protect. Oh, I, I don't care. Then I'll, I'll get up all my hazards then. Why not? <laughs> Shoot. Fortress is dead. They might have Starmie as their last. Wish Protect Seismic Toss. It should be Wish Protect Size and Toss. Was I faster than their... Uh, uh, I'm not confirmed. I'll get the last layer after, actually. I'm going to Roost first. That way I can always come in on Nidoqueen. Okay, perfect. So we'll get up our last layer. And let's start messing up their team with some shuffling. Going to Roost once. I anticipate them to stay in. And I just want Fortress to die. That way they don't have that sack for later. Because I know they're Bantar. Uh, Jirachi could be the last monsoon, which I guess my Latias' trick will help with. I know they're Bantar, so I'm just going to Roost. As they go for Stone Edge and a miss. Unfortunately, this is DPP, so their crit can kill me. <laughs> uh, depending on rolls, their crit can kill me, yeah. Because it's double, it's double the damage. Ah, Needle Queen comes in perfect. Honestly, wait, it's not going to do crap even if I roost and they hit me with Earth Power. Like, who cares? And it is Bronzong. Ooh. Wait, what? You going to trick me? Okay. You going to boom on me now? Like, what? Like, that doesn't matter. I just roost. Explosion does a lot, which is why I uh, make this play, but... Yeah, as you can see, that's 40%. Unfortunately, that's also his entire bronze on. And that's the whole game. That was his entire bronze on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now we gotta use some fun. We gotta use some fun. We gotta use some fun right now. Oh, the play is never to U-turn. If they're choice banned, they knock me out too. I'm going for it though. I'm still going for it. I don't care. This is, this is a fun team, so I'm going to do it. And they crit me, so we don't even get to know if they're choice banned or not. That is unfortunate. Alright, so I mean, this is probably their rocker as well if they're not choice banned. Uh, I'll trade rocks here if possible. I have an Aqua Berry, so I can live Heat Ran's attack unless it's specs. As they go flag on. Gonna meteor mash right into it as its choice band flag on as well. All right, we'll make them a champ play. I'm not in the best spot right now, obviously. I did not expect this Pokemon to want to come out. Should have D punch as well. I didn't expect to be faster either. Leech Seed, Giga Drain. They not have a Tyranitar in their build. Azelf comes out. They are probably Scarf Azelf, and I'm very sad. Okay, good. I was about to say, I'm very sad that I missed that first one, but them being that is a little bit better. Uh, Heatran comes out. Obviously a giant threat. I am Chop on Tyranitar, but that doesn't make uh, the biggest of differences, I think. And uh, I'll just click Super Power. Unfortunately, oh, I, I guess it did make a difference because I'm not Lum. Um... That's really unfortunate, but every week in Heat Ran is better for me. And they might just be Scarf Rachi as well, so. Man. Better Rabbit Spin now? 
I'm make the I'm I'm, I'm gonna do my Lucario right now. Pete. They're gonna stay in. They expect the scarf Luke. Them being banded flag on is actually very scary. Uh, we sack Tyranitar here to what I'm expecting to be a U-turn. And I can't click anything else. Close combat looking kind of tough though versus them. Not gonna lie, close combat looking kind of tough. Especially when I do this to their Jirachi. <laughs> Unfortunately, they get to click Outrage right back with Flygon, but still. Nice. Guess this could be Belt too. Man. I didn't want to click it because I know they have E-Ram, but I don't know. Okay, bro, I need you right now. I need you on my side, buddy. All right, bro, I need you right now. <laughs> hey, good game, man. Uh, so I'm gonna try one more with this fun team, just because it's a very fun team. It's not, it's, it's definitely not the best. I don't care if I lose again, but I'm playing Map Crimson Cobra. Like I said, his team is so old, it probably isn't even Focus Sash. It's probably, uh, well, if this is the same guy. I probably ain't even focus that. It's probably like Lumberry lead. The better play is to U-turn uh, turn one, but if they're not focus Ash, it's uh, it's worse for me. That's I'm so good in this game. The better play is the U-turn. I know it's the better play. Cause a lot of them, cause back in the day, where like that it might not even be Lumberry lead to be honest. Where it wasn't even that common. I knew it was Lum. I knew it wasn't Sash. Uh, so I'll get Pursuit here, most likely. Oh, I'm so weak to this Pokemon. Gonna Earthquake immediately into what I'm expecting to be a Heat Ran. He definitely shook up, by the way. That did nothing as well. What the hell is this Scizor? <laughs> I'm talking about Shook on Heat Ran. I guess he could be Random Passion. Ooh, Rotom Heat, different team. I can respect it. We're gonna crunch first into a fire blast. I mean, I killed Scissor. I'm pretty sure I can kill Scissor without it. They could be Scarf Scissor. Which it looks like it might be. So I'm just gonna go out to that. That's the 30%. I don't remember if that's Bandit or Scarf damage, I'll be honest. Got an Earthquake. Yeah, on the rocks. You already know we had to hit him with that. Sack out of here to whatever attack they go for. I'll bring Lucario and click close combat as they go hard on me. I really want to click CC again, but the fact that they clicked that exactly is not something I'm, I'm okay with. Keep this sewer power play though. I don't have to. What am I doing? <laughs> it's in it's in crunch range. No, 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 Titar, come on. Bro. Okay, we can still CC win if I get rid of this guy, but man, that sucks. That really sucks. I hate to have to use my cut stab now. Okay, I don't even have to use my cut stab, which is good. But that hurt, man. That really hurt. So I think that's Scarf Scissor, it's in range of close combat. This side's a close combat. Oh, that pair hurt, man. I probably should just try to get up rocks as well with, uh, maybe in the long term of things, like, not a lot of heat run or sh uh, Shuka anymore. But again, I'm playing someone who doesn't have a Focus Sash on their, uh, their Mon, so who knows <laughs> what exactly it could be. Though from this position, I think, I would think you always want to click, yeah, Fire Blast. Now I click Draco Meteor. Draco will knock out Heat Ran. They end up going Flygon, which is so good for me now because my Scarf... Okay, awesome. 
I'm gonna explode. And get in Lucario, because Lucario can beat any setup sweeper plus Scizor. Yeah, I CC here. I know they're I know they're scarf, so scarf Lucario knocks them out. Yep. And what is this? D Knight? Or Gyarados or Latias? They surf there. This is this is Scarf Latias too or is it Specs? I think it's Specs. Oh, it's Belt and didn't even knock me out. Hey, good game. Not bad. We managed to beat. We managed to beat Matt Crimson Cobra and his friends. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, if y'all did, you know, leave a like. I'll see y'all next time. Definitely took some L's, but it's still a lot of fun to use these mods. Um, definitely was a lot of fun to use these mods, but should I try one more? How much time we at? 18, 18, okay. I'll probably try one more and do that. I mean, I'll use the Belt Latias team one more time. I really do miss Suicune though. Um, if we find a game within uh, like, like literally two minutes. If we find it within two minutes, I'll go. Otherwise, um, um, that's it. I'm glad that the DVP ladder is like pseudo alive, though. I know I'm not playing the best right now, but like I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm just enjoying being able to use my favorite Pokemon, I guess. In the tier where I loved it the most, like I like Suicune here more than I do in ADV, Gen 5, etc. Like, I just, I love Suicune. I like it way more than I do the one they're using now, too, which is definitely not my favorite. <laughs> That is for sure. But, yeah, as I mentioned, I'm really hoping that uh, when Sweeten comes back, it's still able to hold up with the meta. I'm not sure, like, what they will give it. Uh, freeze Drive, for one, would be a really cool move they can give it. I, I would definitely use that over Ice Beam because there's no meta hidden power, so you can't use, like, Hidden Power Electric or Grass or whatever if you want to deal with things. Ima imagine a Suicune that can always be... Is this Rain? Bronze on lead sometimes means it's rain. Oh, and I have no weather. Oh, I lost. I lost so badly. Oh, it's leftovers. Okay, so it's not rain, most likely. And Thunderbolt again. Oh my god, I got like, like the first two. The best turn. The best turn one and two. Oh my gosh. You know what? Same as the first. Spadef Heat Ran. Or Spadef Tran, excuse me. A uh, U-turn, um, because two things are going to happen. They're either going to switch into something that I don't want to see, like this bad boy. Or, oh, this is Hail. So this is probably Dugtrio, uh somewhere as well in their team. I should have probably Agility, because they more than likely have a Rotom too. Right, I'll Meteor Mash after, I don't care about the Dugtrio. Yeah, let me just, whatever, who cares about their Dugtrio? I'm about to get put down by Warrain, aren't I? I should have agility, because I know Dugtrio gonna come out now. They might even have a Cresselia too, not even a Dugtrio. Like like Crest, but nah, Crest wouldn't work on the this hail build. Raikou is something they could have. Uh, definitely a Dugtrio. They don't know if I'm Shuka though. Don't go Dougie. Rotom Frost. Uh I mean, I'm max HP on this thing. What would they even do here? <laughs> Just get some chip. Because late game Lottie can trick, if anything. That'd be a good chunk, too. Got the attack raise. I don't think they blizzard here. I'm, I'm fairly confident the Rotom is Scarf, or, or, or Choice, excuse me, did 50%, so it should be Choice. Just trying to decide how I want to do this, because I, I don't want to go a Suicune and have them. I doubt they're Pasha Berry, because they have Bomba Snow, which is a nice answer. Yeah, I think Suicune's the only thing that actually is a guarantee KO on this bad boy. If they're Boom, Boom won't knock me out. Well, maybe. Because the Bomba Snow lets them deal with so much. Ooh. That's an awesome mod to see. I'm gonna beat them with sweeping though. You haze, bro. Otherwise, you don't deal with me. They have hell up as well, so they're always constantly taking damage. 
So the last is 100% wall rain, by the way, but I don't think wall rain can beat every mod on my team. Maybe. <laughs> We'll see. Rabbitsman doesn't get speed boosts anymore, or right now, anymore. What the hell am I saying? I'm just trying to think, am I making it so Warren beats me easily? Here's Ice Beam. Instead of clicking whatever attack. I'll rest up once. Mm. Make the Latias play because it deals with potentially Warren coming right in. I mean, so we can, like I said, can beat it, but I hope this dude doesn't plan on, like, st stalling me the whole game. <laughs> if possible. With Warren. I mean, it's definitely possible. Um, actually, Extra Bell Lati is not going to knock him out from that range. Uh, let's see if they have Boom. Or if they opt to go for Boom here. I want to say I'm going to be faster than them. Oh, they want to say I'm going to be faster than them too. Cool. So, they're almost in range of Thunderbolt. I just got to make sure that Warren doesn't get a sub. Let's talk to you. There's a Shadow Ball. Here's a Heat Ran, which doesn't have Earth Power. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, so my best move is HP Grass, because it's Tentacruel. Uh, it sucks it doesn't have Earth Power. If I had Earth Power, I would have went for there, obviously. I'll take a Surf. Easily, because of my passion. That did nothing. So go ahead and give me that. Thank you very much. Uh, E-Rank come out. Zapdos gets a kill with Thunderbolt, which is what I want on Warren, which I know they have. I'm pretty sure I knock you out with Hidden Power Grass, too. Should I go for rocks instead of trying to knock them out here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, actually. Uh, the rocks to put Heat Rain in range of Thunderbolt, uh, to put Wall Rain in range of Thunderbolt, as well. And then Heat Rain also in range of Surf from Extra Belt Lottie. I love a Thunderbolt, is what I'm saying, so I think I'll be okay. And I stall Suicune to, I mean, if, if worse comes to worse, I, I, can, I, I can literally stall out uh, Warren. Because it's sub, protect, uh, surf, and then last move is either Blizzard or Toxic or anything like that. And, like, and if I need to, I can pressure stall it. I don't want to. I hope it doesn't come down to that. I hope I crit them with everything, personally. Yeah, so like I said, I eat that attack. Mmm. It's in Power Grass. Randomly. Eh, does it matter if I even go out to Flygon? It doesn't. It doesn't. I got rocks up and everything too, so it really doesn't matter. I'm just like, will I lose to this wall rain? But they're not bringing it out, so I'm gonna U turn here and I'm actually gonna go right back out into my Heat Ran if possible. Yeah. We'll go Heat Ran. Which my best attack to hit is Hidden Power as they go for Boom, which I'm okay with uh, as well. And, uh... If I go... Flygon, does U-Turn kill Rotom with Hail, Chip, it might, but that allows in their... I know they have a War Ring! <sighs> it's pissing me off because I know they have War Ring. Okay. Attack you, go Flygon, click U-Turn, get out Zapdos, and click Thunderbolt. I know you have a wall rain, man. It's pissing me off. Send it out. Send it out right now. Send him out. And let's watch him recover a million attack. Here it is. Let's watch him protect and get his ice body and do no type of damage. But me And I do... I barely miss out on the KO, and then and then I, I lose because it gets his ice body. This team doesn't have a really good way of dealing. This like this this team needs a duck trio because you need to be able to kill a Tyranitar. If I had Tyranitar, I was a wrap. Oh, luckily Warren did nothing. All right, guys. Well, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, 
you know, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.